the YouTube. Hey, Welcome to a vlog. You cut me There's Jesus Sapien. Today we got a couple surprises. We ordered a FRS wide body kit. Pull it out, Gordo. Oh shit, bro. So none of us own an FRS. We just wanted to get a FRS kit because they're actually super cheap. What do you think of the quality for that price? It's not bad. Go, Mo. My brother-in-law has an FRS, which we'll probably end up having him come over tomorrow. But the goal right now is to test fit it on Gordo's uh, badass Lancer here. He's already got it on fender flares and everything. I got the other fender flares in here. Oh shit. Yeah, those are pretty sick too. You can try those on if you want. So we're gonna test fit that on the Lancer. And we're also gonna try to test fit it on my Infinity G37. So we'll see how they come out. Hey Julian. Dude, that shit is wide as fuck, though. This is why you can't find this 10 millimeter. He's been driving around with it on his cow vent. Alright, lay it on there. Let's see it. See the fitment underneath? Oh shit. It's actually not bad. I'm telling that we can mold it right here with the heat gun. Here's down. Over. I think we have the wrong one. Yeah, we have the wrong one. This is the front one. Is that a back? Yeah. <laughs> no wonder. Like... Yeah, this is the front. <laughs> God. I'm like, no wonder it wasn't making sense. We made a rookie mistake. We actually put the rear wide body, wide over fender in the front. Um, so now we're trying the correct one and it looks a lot different than before. Kinda so like the other hopefully we can get it to fit properly because we were putting the rear one in the front. Um, so we're gonna try to get this thing taped up and then uh, I guess we'll go off of there. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so we got the front with both pieces. Um, obviously, it doesn't go with the car because it's for an FRS and this is a Lancer. But, it's kind of cool. It would need a lot of molding, like obviously, cutting, heating. And the material that it is, it's actually pretty solid and you can definitely heat it up and mold it. So it's pretty badass. I mean, for $166, that's pretty freaking sweet. And it's definitely something you can fuck around with, so it's pretty badass.
thick and I don't even think I'd need the other one. But I want to go a little bit lower so it doesn't look too high. Yeah. I put it like that. I don't know, I think it looks pretty gnarly. It'd be like that and then it'd be like... Yeah. Well, shit, even if you didn't put that front piece on, it still looks pretty sick. That was the other way. That's fine, huh? Yeah. Either that or it's the, uh, the other piece. Oh, yeah, it's that one right there. It's because it looks weird because there's the cosima. It's not up high. It feels up high like this. Yeah. To go with the line of the bumper. Yeah. Okay guys, so we are done messing around with the uh, wide body kit. Um, so now we're gonna work my car. Gotta grab a cup though. And the reason why is because, let me get this one. About a week ago, I went to 7-Eleven right before my graveyard shift. Right before my graveyard shift and some guy backed up on me, on my car, hit me. I ran after him and the motherfucker drove away and this is what he left. Let me bring up the exposure here. So, he backed up into it with this big old Dodge Ram, and if you can see, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, you can actually see that's pretty bad. Fuck. Okay, well, anyways, uh, the homie's gonna help me get this shit out. So we're gonna be using a little bit of hot water. That's it. And we're gonna be using... It's not gonna work. Oh, I guess that's not gonna work, but we're gonna try to use this plunger. But if you can, the well, Look right oh, through man. here, you can actually, it's hard to see because it's not bright enough in here, but right right there is where the damage is, and if you put your hand against it, you can feel the bump. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to attempt to push it out as we pour hot water on it. So I'm going to set you guys down, and we're going to see how, how it works out for us. Okay guys, so after doing it with our hands and some hot water, we were able to get quite a bit of it off. If you can see, like obviously it's still there. 
That's it's only right perfect. here. Look. These three spots right here. That's better than nothing. I'm telling you with that plunger though. So that's way better than before. But Ivan's got a tent puller, like a suction cup. Uh, we didn't bring it, he didn't bring it because the goal was to work on the wide body just to see how it fit. See right here? Um, but we might be going to save that for a different episode or another vlog, whatever. Um, see if we can get it. But the whole purpose of getting with the FRS kit was just to like mess around, see if we could like try to figure out how to get that, get it to work with our cars. Um, it doesn't look so good on our car, so on my car, unfortunately. Yeah, dude, from the back, it doesn't look like did that bad anymore. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty gone. Like, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better and doable than before. Um. All right guys, so I think we're gonna end the first vlog right here uh, after test fitting on Ivan's Lancer. Uh, we liked how it looked. Obviously, like I said, we're gonna need to mold it more, but um, that's what we bought it. It's $166. The quality, it's actually really good. Like it's pretty like solid, it feels like. Um, so he's in a, we're not gonna cut it up just yet. We're gonna wait for my brother-in-law to come over uh, with his FRS since it is an FRS kit. And uh, we're gonna see how it looks, see if we can inspire him to actually get one. Cause like I said, for the price, that's pretty badass. $166, and that was shipping though. included. And obviously we're gonna need to do molding, cutting, uh, measuring, by point of view, whatever, uh, the, however you say it. Uh, but it's going to look sick once it's done. Uh, so hopefully Ivan can make it work on his Lancer. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this vlog will be out two days later. I don't know. You guys will probably see it. Um, but, yeah, once my brother-in-law comes over, I'm going to test fit it on his FRS, see how it looks. Obviously, it's going to fit better because it is for an FRS. Um, so stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoy the vlog. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, see you guys later.